It's Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful Memorial weekend. And uh, I received another uh, comment from uh, Bamalurna5. And uh, this is absolutely going to be my last response to him unless he wants to talk about salvation and how he might find Christ as a Savior. I would be willing to talk to him about that for as long as it takes for him to become a believer. Nevertheless, uh, his response back to me, and you may have watched it on YouTube, and I hope that perhaps you did, but uh, the original question was why pray and why not uh, raise money? And I answered that question in a video, which you can go back and review if you like. Uh, the answer was very, very complete. It was, the Bible tells me to pray. Prayer availeth much. That God is the great physician and can do more than anyone else. That doesn't mean we preclude doctors from it. It's a good thing to pray. Strongest power on earth uh, through God if you're a believer. And uh, Joan Rivers is an example that money is uh, no guarantee for a uh, cure of whatever happens to be wrong with you. Uh, I thought it was a pretty concise answer and uh, uh, I certainly answered for the same reason that he had then faulted me about that first Peter says that give a reason for your hope. I gave a reason for my hope. I believe that God is the greatest power in all of the universe and that uh, it is he that has called us to pray. Uh, what I did not say in my video uh, response to him, which I probably should have said to him, was that, uh, number one, I don't even know the last name of this young man. I don't know where he lives. Uh, I do know what hospital he was taken to, uh, but with no last name, there's no way of following up with either his parents or him. Uh, the appeal came as an appeal for prayer. It was an urgent email sent out to believers, those that believe in prayer. And uh, the appeal was not for money. There was no indication or no hint of the fact that money was needed. This young man was already in one of the finest hospitals with some of the finest hospital doctors uh, that money can buy. Uh, and all of that was known to me. I knew that he was already getting the care that he needed. Money was not an issue at this time but there was an urgent request by the parents uh, for prayer. And that's exactly what I did. I prayed and I asked others to pray. I have no regrets in, in that and certainly was not trying to shake responsibilities for trying to raise funds because that was never uh, suggested to me, nor did I get the impression from God that that's what I was supposed to do. Anyone that has known me over the years in my ministry know that uh, I've been generous in all cases when money was an issue and uh, continue to be uh, such. Nevertheless, uh, I want to respond to uh, his, his last uh, YouTube video and say that I did give the reasons. I did not try to uh, avoid saying the reason for the hope that I have. Uh, I think that his jug of milk concept is one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard. Uh, I'd like to look at the track record of how many prayers have been handled by a jug of milk versus how many prayers have been handled by God and how much faith it takes to believe in a jug of milk versus believing in a God who has been recorded down through the history for thousands of years and has demonstrated uh, the reality of the Bible, the reality of God, the reality of Christ, and what he did for mankind. Uh, I certainly think that uh, uh, this young man, uh, in some respects, has good intentions and in other respects does not. Uh, I particularly uh, uh, am offended by his uh, comment about my character. Uh, my character speaks for itself. Uh, my years in the business world and my years in the ministry speak to my character. Uh, I don't feel that I have to defend it. God knows the truth. He knows uh, about my character and so does everyone that knows me. As to Joan Rivers and uh, his comments uh, about uh, the fact that she just died as a result of a reaction to anesthesia, uh, obviously he did not research that well. 
because you'll find that not only was there a lawsuit filed by Joan Rivers family, uh, but there was a federal investigation which found that the clinic was negligent in a number of different areas of not having adequate equipment, uh, not having gotten approval of doing biopsies that were done and uh, not acting in a timely fashion. Uh, one doctor in particular has uh, already left that clinic uh, as a result of the, all of this and uh, the federal uh, investigation proved that there were uh, things that uh, were not done properly. That was not my point. My point was that money doesn't buy health. You can't just throw money at situations and think that that's going to fix problems. Uh, I have been at the bedside of uh, a church member who died as a result of medical malpractice, uh, very definitely and easily proven, uh, not monitoring oxygen levels at the right places and at the right way. And uh, that appears to be, uh, at least on the initial investigations, to be much of the reason. I think it's very, very important uh, for uh, Bomberina uh, to realize that uh, I have a faith. Uh, I have the right to that faith. He has the right to be a non-believer. Uh, but I would say very quickly that uh, my concern for him is an eternal concern for him. Uh, I believe that the Bible does talk about me not getting involved in vain uh, debates and, and uh, fruitless causes, and uh, that's very clearly covered in First Timothy and Titus as well as many other places in the Bible. The Bible is tested and proven, and the Bible says that we're all sinners. Uh, I am included in that. Uh, do I do everything perfectly? Obviously not. Uh, but it says that Jesus died for our sins, and that only through him can we find the forgiveness of sins and eternal life? You see, the Bible says we have an eternal soul. And our soul is going to spend an eternity in one of two places, either heaven or hell. I, I would indicate that uh, everything that I've heard and seen is that uh, Mr. Barbarino is uh, not a believer and, and therefore doesn't believe that Jesus died for his sins and that he has the power to forgive his sins and forgive him for all unrighteousness. My prayer is that one day he will see that. A number of men and women have set out to prove the Bible to be wrong and that there is no God. And many, many of them have come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ as personal Savior. Josh McDowell is a perfect example, and I would encourage uh, this particular reader and writer uh, to read the book, Evidence Demands a Verdict and uh, several other very good apologetic books on why we should believe. I would be happy to debate that with him uh, and continue to show him why I believe. Uh, I am willing to give a reason for my hope, but I'm not willing to enter into uh, limitless, uh, unfruitful debate uh, about uh, trivial things. And uh, uh, I can tell you that I have a clear conscience I believe that I did exactly what I was asked to do. I got an urgent request for prayer. I prayed. I passed on the prayer request to others, and they prayed. I don't know the outcome of the prayer. I do not believe in predestination, uh, absolute predestination. Uh, I believe that God has a plan for our lives, but I believe that he does not suspend uh, natural occurrences such as accidents from our lives and therefore that's not part of his perfect plan. Uh, can he always heal someone? Yes, he can. Does he always heal someone? No, he doesn't. Uh, we see that in the scriptures. We also see it in life. And uh, I believe with all of my heart that uh, this young man is in the doctor's hands, which I obviously believe that we should use doctors in hospitals uh, and certainly reject parents that withhold those things from uh, their children or believe that the doctors don't hold a place in our society to, to do healing. But I still believe that God is the greatest power in the universe. And I know a number of key surgeons in the Florida area who also believe the same thing and who have pulled me aside before surgeries and asked me to pray with them that they were going into difficult surgeries and they wanted God's guidance and, and his uh, 
in their hands and in their minds so that the surgeries would be done successfully. And uh, they believe with all of their hearts as well that God does exist, that his son Jesus did die for our sins and that he is the greatest power and they wouldn't even consider going into surgery without prayer. Well, I don't know if that answered all of my friends' questions. Uh, I think that we have uh, talked enough about whether prayer is needed and whether fundraising is needed. I wasn't asked to raise funds. I was asked to pray. Had I been asked to raise funds, I might have gotten more information and found out what the family's name was. But my urgent prayer request came by email with no last name. Just pray uh, for this young man who had had a skateboarding accident. I did that and I asked others to do the same. I responded exactly as I should have. Uh, and my character is uh, certainly not without fault, uh, but certainly my character speaks for itself over my years of ministry and the business world both. Uh, people that know me know that my character and my ethics uh, are of those that uh, a pastor ought to have. By the way, uh, you also said that uh, the average pastor's pay is $80,000. I don't know where you got that number. Uh, I looked up a couple of sources and one said that the average pastor's pay was about $29,000. Uh, another one said $55,000. I couldn't find anything that said an average pastor's pay was $80,000. Uh, I never made $80,000 in my 30 uh, plus 35 years of ministry. Uh, but that's not an issue that the issue is that no one person could ever take on the hospital cost that would be involved in a brain injury. Uh, it would have to be a fundraising activity. Uh, but these parents may have adequate insurance. Uh, they may have no need at this point for funds. But I know that if it was my child that was in the emergency room, my child that was in intensive care and my child that had brain damage, money would be secondary to me. Uh, and there may come a time when that, that becomes a financial burden for them and that's the perfect time for the local church and for the local Christians to do all that they can to take that burden from those parents. But right now, that child needs a healing. And uh, I think that that mother that sent out that urgent appeal for prayer uh, would have been insulted if I had sent uh, a note back saying, I decided to spend my time raising funds to cover your medical expenses uh, instead of praying, which is what you asked me to do. That's my thought for the day. God bless you and have a great day.